Day Travelers back again, and we have Vicky again. Hi. We we had so much fun very, last time. It's not very often that we get three people in a vlog. No. Especially Vicky. Yeah, especially Vicky. So it's it's. I normally nice. protest, it's but nice. when I bring beers, I feel like I should show up for them. Oh, that's good. You can explain them, and Troy and I don't have to talk. There I feel like go. when Vicky's yeah. on the blog, that's the equivalent of seeing like an albino deer. It's yeah. like, wow, that's impressive. <laughs> That's impressive. We don't have to look at I Troy. I feel too dark for this. Should I be wider? We don't have to look at Troy and Landon anymore. <laughs> the scenery has improved. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So anyway, tonight we're doing uh, some sour beers. Yeah, it's been a while. We, it's been a while since we've done some sour beers. You can't just do Belgian or uh, or uh, barrel aged maple chocolate yeah, beers. All it's time. also I mean, as well, much as we'd like to. It is well established. I show up for the sour episodes. Yeah, yeah. I am there for the sours. Breweries, more sours, please. You will get my money. Yeah. yeah. Wow. As a guy who sells beer, it's like, what do you want? Yeah, you got sours. <laughs> I got sours. So while Troy want? is uh, is pouring the first one, uh, let's let's talk about Hot Passport. We always talk about Hot, hot Passport at the beginning of the episodes. So this actually goes with the first beer that Troy is pouring. So and the boom, second. yeah, and the and the second, Boom Island is in the Minnesota Hot Passport. And I'll give you the small glass for that one. Um, yeah, and and so you can go to Boom Island and get two for one beers, which is also great. The second beer that we have tonight is from Six Hundred Eight, which is in the Wisconsin Hot Passport. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, not controversial opinion, but Boom Island's awesome. Boom Island is awesome. Not controversial. I think most people would no. agree on that. I, yeah. if, if you've ever been to Boom <laughs> Island and you like Belgian beers. And they moved? Yeah. They did. Less they sketchy moved. neighborhood now. Less sketchy neighborhood. Less chances of being shot. Actually, I went there. It was great. You're, you're, Didn't feel threatened at all. Your, your likelihood of being shot has decreased dramatically. Oh. 100%. But 100%. the quality of the beer stays very high. Stay they are very amazing. High. The the quality of the staff there, wonderful. Not, Jim is still there. There's still dogs inside. It's I'm not great. I'm not going to lie to you. I probably won't enjoy it as much just cuz I like the I liked walking in a zigzag pattern, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it made me it made me happy. Yeah. So this the so get your hot passport first of all. Get your Don't hot drink passport. without it. Uh if if we get 800 subscribers, We'll give away a Wisconsin hot passport. It's great. Um, so the the first one is from Boom Island. It's called Creek. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yep, you were correct. Yeah, Creek. It's a cherry sour. Yep. So a Creek yep. typically is a lambic style sour yep. that is aged with cherries. Now, Belgian can be split up into two regions, and I believe the lambic side is usually the southern part of Belgian, if memory serves me correctly, which it doesn't always. Hmm. And so just simply aged with cherries. Yeah. Uh, you know, a wild fermented. So they use wild yeast as opposed to like the regular brewer's yeast. So that, that wild yeast can sometimes, in most cases, it, it has the ability to um, convert more complex sugars into alcohol as opposed to regular yeast that cannot. But it's also harder to control. It's a way more delicate balance in doing right. something like that because there's a lot more blending. A lot of times you have to have multiple barrels. You have to blend them. And it's, it's more of a chore. So you don't see a lot of creeks, really hardly at all. Right, right. It's it's rare. And and Boom Island does one every year, I believe. Yep, yep. You're <clears throat> correct. So it's not a crick. And no, it's not a crick <laughs> as it as it is in South Dakota, Nebraska, or, which would be a body of water. It is a creek, which is a beer. And a so, body of water, <laughs> if you speak it right. <laughs> I mean, apples to apples, oranges to oranges, whatever. Tomato potatoes that I like. Potato to say. tomatoes. <laughs> No, I'm right, and you're wrong. <laughs> also, so over. anyway, how how did we acquire this bottle? Beth got drunk. Mm. Jim sold her a, a <laughs> bottle of it, and uh, <laughs> and that's how we got it. And we kept it in the fridge for a year. I am truly excited. So this is a 2019, then. This is a 2019. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fun story. I need to stop laughing before <laughs> I drink it because I really don't want to spray it. That's I, so. This should be. We would appreciate uh, that. I get a little bit of the. Of the sour on the nose, uh, just a smidgen of cherry. Ooh, it's got a nice, it's, it's a, got a nice sour. It's good. It's kind of effervescent. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Bag. Mm, that is. That is good. I definitely taste the cherry. First thing I need to say though is like whenever you drink a sour beer, that first sip can be a little, little intense. A little you, pucker. Little like hey. 
What up? Especially if you're drinking it late night and you're just like, oh, hi. What's oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but once you get past that initial sip, even possibly the second sip, that third sip, it just starts tasting absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And and to be honest with you, and I, I know we're a little biased um, to Boom Island, and, and we haven't really been, you know, we haven't tried to hide that at all. Nope. We love Boom Island. Why would we? No. Um, everything they make is great. And and to be honest with you, Kevin tries to stay, and, he, and I think he does a very good job. And I, It's not even just tries, he does. He stays within... The, the Manassas, yes, brewing styles. The, the monastic some... brewing style, and and not and just just what Belgian beer is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I see some puckers off screen from our <laughs> support <laughs> crew tonight. From the the small, but yeah, still alive. Small but mighty. <laughs> it's it's a little champagne, yes, but it it is it is very tart. Mm, I, t- I would say I would say when you get a sour like this, and we've kept this for a year, mm. so I would say when you get a sour, probably drink it right away. Yeah, sours are best fresh. Not that this is bad. This is it's not bad. No, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely got some pucker. It's got um, sours it's, are some of the few beers that can age at warm temperatures too. In fact, they prefer aging at warm temperatures. Interesting. Yeah. That is good news for a couple that I found. Yeah, yeah. If you have some sour beers and you don't want to drink them right away, feel free to put them wherever. It doesn't matter. They're already bad. <laughs> it's a bad beer that's not going to get yeah, that I mean, much more bad. Typically speaking, if you have a sour beer, that means it went bad. Unless you intentionally do it with a wild yeast. And it's like anything, you know, uh, you break the rules once you've mastered the basics, you know. And uh, they, they do that beautifully, especially in this beer. But uh, It's like a blue cheese. You yeah. Know, it's, it's already been molded. You know, yeah, intentionally, yeah. You you can put this. You can't in, mold it anymore. You can put this in the cupboard above your fridge yeah. and be like, it's fine. Yeah, right. So I have a great story about blue cheese. Yeah. So it was my grandparents, and uh, she came from a fairly well-off family. Mm-hmm. Came from one that was not. Yep. She bought some blue cheese because she had some friends coming over, and they were arriving, and she went to pull it out, and. Where'd it go? Oh, I threw it out. It went bad. It got moldy. <laughs> very Irish. Uh, very very Irish. Irish family. Yes. Yeah, they wouldn't know anything about blue cheese in Ireland. No, I also have a blue so cheese much. story. Uh, a month ago, my oh, mom no. gave me a bag of blue cheese. <laughs> this big. She's How like, do you get a bag? I'm like, where did you get Where did you get this blue? She's like, I can't. No one can eat this. This is for you. She's like, freeze half of it. I ate it all within three weeks. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, mean too. I just got into it. I started putting. Stephanie's like, "Are you putting blue cheese on your Asian food?" I'm like, "Oh, yeah. damn right I am." <laughs> I just like it. It was just a little bit of funk in all of my food, and much ex- like this beer. It's a little bit of funk in my drink. That explains Troy for you right there. <laughs> and scene. Just a little, just a little bit of funk. I want just a little funk, you know, and that's why I like sour beers. All right, we got, I did great. that. I brought it full circle. Full circle. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to that's something that hosting. that. Uh, oh boy! Oh, no, oh, oh no. Jesus! We'll just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you're covered in Pepto Bismol? So what's this one called, man? I don't know what this is called. <laughs> blueberry Coconut Crisp. I know what you're doing tonight. <laughs> smells like Blueberry Coconut Crisp. <laughs> I mean the artwork uh, before I open the can. Uh, look good. Oh yeah. There's so. there's what it was before <laughs> we opened it. Look at that. Yeah. There's the back. Look at it. It's great. <laughs> Ugh, wow! Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get to try it. I do smell it. Yeah, this can's pretty much empty. So yeah, I picked this up at six oh eight brewing, which um is in our hot passport. Is it open? Uh, I don't think it's all the way open yet. It's enough open that we can take a taste. Oh, squeeze a little out. There squeeze you go. Squeeze it. Get, good to the last drop, guys. <laughs> it's good. It's great. <laughs> Lena got a lot. I got, <laughs> I got all of it actually. Beer. Yeah, favorite. I got beer. all of it actually. Thanks, Beth. Appreciate oh. that. So, oh, it's uh, gonna ruin the table, but it's fine. Here, just yeah. you can go sit down. Sorry, it's fine. So, there's numerous reasons why that could happen. 
Yeah. Um, Let's talk about that. Uh, one of them is at the... Uh, what in the chaos <clears throat> calm here, Alex? Here, we'll just... uh, there we go. So uh, the sugar is in there kind of kept fermenting. I, I believe that might have so, been what so, happened. It's so, from Christmas. Yeah, yeah so all... it's only about a month and a half old. I wanted yeah. to fix, and it's been refrigerated not all the whole beer time. Shouldn't have happened. <laughs> that's actually the thing, though. That's a hard thing. People well, are coming to. That's one thing that, and it, it's gotten better that I've noticed in in. Um, Quit hogging the towel. In liquor stores. <laughs> Sorry, I got the brunt of it, so you can just yeah. piss off. <laughs> yeah, my microphone is covered in it. It's a good thing we have several covers. Um, so yeah, those sugars anyway. can keep fermenting, and sometimes that happens. So if you if you that's fine. <laughs> have you ever noticed that that there are a lot of that a lot of beers need to be refrigerated? <laughs> ah, most and, beers should and, be, and yeah. don't and don't necessarily always get refrigerated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shelves, especially with like the hazy lactose IPA <laughs> craze. Yeah, yeah. Shelf stableness in beers has become a massive issue in the industry. And that's just because uh, that lactose will keep fermenting, and then also because you got to be able to kill that yeast, and if you don't kill it all, yeast is resilient. It's like you know, it's like uh, sea monkeys. That is, um, that's something. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be tasting, but you got a lot of foam right now. Yeah, you're, you're mostly drinking head there, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of fruit. You know, it like pulp, very, it's very pulpy. It was a very sort of a juicy yeah. sour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I didn't get any. It's sour technically either. a sour, but I did not think of it as a sour. It it was very juicy, very almost smoothie flavor. Yeah, I got. I definitely got some sour in the tongue, but there was also just a heavy layer of of juice. It almost reminds me of like a black cherry ice cream or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> The first time that's ever happened ever for us in a show, not only in the show but like like life generally. Like, well, you know, it makes well, it makes, it on camera. makes good for video. <laughs> <laughs> it's good video. They did warn us about top, at, at, at Top and Goliath. However, this did not have a sticker on it, oh, so yeah. uh, there was no warning. <laughs> Thanks, six oh eight. Very rarely is there. So appreciate you. Sorry, Landon. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. It looks like I murdered a cat. <laughs> <laughs> this really. This really worked out well for you then. <laughs> this booth is gonna need a whole, whole wipe down. Beth, get the hose. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gonna need a hose. And the hot passport took some. Oh, the hot uh, passport got hit. Oh no. Oh. Can but you know what? Can we grab we another? We're giving oh. that one away. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Hold on, guys. A hot passport with some beer spilt on it is a rite of passage, this though, right? True. I think. I think it is. Yeah, you can. It's uh yeah, it's uh, it's as used prop. as used on TV mm-hmm. or YouTube, as it were. Anyway, uh, hopefully the the next beer we're not going to run into. That. Yeah, what's I'm going to let Troy open this one. <laughs> this is what happens when you open a beer, Landon. Well, you not, barely I'm, ever opened a beer. I'm on not this opening show. a beer anymore. Yeah, you're done. Cut That's off. the end of it. Yeah, that was the last one you I ever can't opened. Can't be trusted. Yeah, apparently, wasn't even a crawler. Wasn't a crawler. Wasn't even a crawler. Is uh, it it's um yeah. Well, we'll pass on that one. Let's get an opener going here. We'll have to call this episode an explosion of power. <laughs> I don't know. You got uh, you got the only opener over there somewhere. I don't. Do you? Um, he's uh, sort of runaway. Where did the run runaway opener? No, no. Swiss Army knife, folks. I feel responsible for bringing chaos. Bringing chaos to the episode. You have to, you're going to have to slam that other sour. Oh no, don't mix them. Don't mix them. That's weird. Don't do that. Another glass. Yes, please. <laughs> off screen. So we're, off screen. We're working that dishwasher tonight. Watch your glassware. watch your butt there, Beth. There you go. I almost knocked over the TV. Wow, folks. So All right, we gotta, so we this last rally one here. is... We'll, we'll rally somehow, a, probably. A um, strawberry rhubarb sour from that opened perfectly. Southern Swells Ooh. in Jacksonville, Florida. 
Good for you, Is Troy. that named after oh. Andrew Jackson? <laughs> it is, in fact, named after Andrew Jackson, who was the first governor of the Florida Territory. Yeah, right as after we you get done killing the Indians. On a recent episode. Too soon. <laughs> uh, so this particular beer I brought back for me, a trip that I took down mm, to Florida. That's fantastic. Was it a work trip? It was, in fact, a work trip. Those are the best ones. Ah. Those are... Sometimes the little. ones that you need to stop at a brewery after work. Yeah. Oh, always. Go on a work trip and you go, ooh, that's really good. When can I hit a brewery? Ooh, I like that. I had tried this, of course, on tap at the brewery. I got a flight, as the, one does at a new brewery. And it is just as good in the bottle. The, this has rhubarb in it, which, A, love rhubarb, but I'm oh, also yeah. a Midwesterner, which... It's like in our DNA to like rhubarb. You know, I don't think anybody outside of the Midwest really even knows what rhubarb is. Oh, my is. wife did not. She's like, oh, we're driving out there. I'm like, there's a rhubarb patch. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what what kind is of a foreign rhubarb? language are you speak? What's a rhubarb patch and why are you excited? Yeah. I'm like, oh, you think it grows so many wild reasons. you go steal it, you make a pie? and It's great. Oh, yeah, it's the best. I mean, I don't make a pie. I give it to someone else to make the pie. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't trust you making a pie. Breach of crust with strawberry rhubarb pie flavored beer. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I was going to make a joke about the two dessert flavored beers because the last one was blueberry crisp and this is strawberry rhubarb pie. It's blueberry explosion. Blueberry Wait. explosion. Well, I think got a little bit of pie in his face. <laughs> got a little bit. I you, lived. You know what? In the, I lived. In the beer so. world, that's the equivalent of getting a pie to the face though. Yes. It's old school comedy at its finest. I'm not going to lie to you. You could, you could ask a lot of my classmates from high school. That fits right perfectly with <laughs> everything that possibly could ever happen there. to me. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah, yeah. That, would, that would happen to Cerny. You bet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm making no idea. This this beer is fantastic. It's great. Yeah, I yeah. thoroughly enjoy this brewery. Once again, I think that, that Florida water just does well in sours and browns. That 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 that, that brackish, that kind of nasty water just sometimes can contri- hard water contributes to some of these beers so much. No. To a nasty yeast, get a nasty yeast, mm. a nasty water, makes a great beer. Tasty beer. Yeah. Two negatives oh, sometimes good. can make a positive. That sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Whoever thought two wrongs can make a right. <laughs> Not in the case of my grandparents. Yeah. Two angry folks just made another angry guy. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway. That was an episode. I, th- I think you you probably had enough of this episode. Yeah, yeah. Lane is going to consider. consider I'm going to take a shower, and we're we're probably. You know, I had news, but my phone is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, this one. My phone's off. full of beer. Yeah. So. You and me no both. news. We have it, but it's on there, and this is the first time we can actually say this sentence at the end of an episode and have it make sense. Okay, guys, let's go hit the showers. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go hit the showers. And and then we'll we'll get the the booth hosed down for the next episode. Yeah, that way it's not you know it's not too sticky the next time it, it that we come in. It is a little in. sticky. You got yeah. to keep a little bit sticky, just a little in one spot. Just, just to remind you. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it for Memories. future episodes. So anyway, just remember, we're gonna give away a hot passport. Probably not the one that got <laughs> covered in beer. Mm. It, when we get to 800 subscribers on YouTube, so of course subscribe to us on YouTube and hit the bell. Alice has got that. Ho ho! And then of course check us out on all of the other social medias. Occasionally we post on Instagram. We're we're not you know regular instas. We're we're not drinking beer every day. We're not constantly on there just you know showing our faces with a beer. It's yeah. just not our If thing. you're looking for a picture of us wearing yoga pants with the beer, you're not going to find that. Or if you're looking for a picture of us with a beer going, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah. But uh, it's probably to your benefit. Wayne and Oni can smile twice a day. That's right. That's true. And it usually only happens once in the morning and then maybe once at night. <laughs> it doesn't happen when a beer blows up my face. So anyway, check us out on... <laughs> On all of that stuff, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, all the good stuff. Um, and then, of course, until next week, we'll see you later. Prost. Salud. Don't get a beer in your face. By now, you've probably figured out that we like visiting different breweries, and we've been pretty vocal about one of our favorite travel companions, Hot Passport. When you visit any of the breweries highlighted inside, you either get two-for-one pints or buy one, get one. That means you only have to visit a fraction of the breweries we do to get your money's worth. Visit hotpassport.com to get one featuring your state today. Hot Passport.
don't drink without yours. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.